Well, certainly heavy hearts this morning as the entire community tries to process this latest tragedy. And right now we are joined by the mayor of Arvada, Mark Williams. And mayor, thank you so much for joining us. We know it is such an emotional time for your city. First off, what a show of support for Officer Beasley and law enforcement. Touching to see so many people come out yesterday. Your response to that and how are you doing this morning? Well, this is this is one of those mornings where you wake up and you say, was it a bad dream? And mm -hmm. unfortunately, it wasn't a dream. Yes, the outpouring of support yesterday, uh, all of our city council and our uh, executive team were at the processional site. Uh, it was in a very sad day. It was heartwarming to see all the people who had gathered together to show support for our police, to see all the different police and, and um, agencies who were there to, to be in the procession. And that's the way this region and this city comes together. Mayor, we know the Old Town area is just the, the heart of the community there. You've spoken before about how connected police officers are to the community, and we know the healing will take uh, weeks, maybe months down the road. What conversations have you had with your police chief about supporting Officer Beasley's family, uh, other law enforcement members, and the community during this time? You know, our chief immediately went up to be with um, Gordon's family, and... Uh, that just shows the, the sense that we have in our community of how important family is. So he was, he was there. We're starting to put together our plans. I will tell you that there is a community prayer uh, vigil tonight at Peace Lutheran Church, which is located at 5675 Field Street, and that's going to be from 7 to 8 o'clock, and, and I and many others will be there. And that's just the beginning of, of the healing process. It will take a significant amount of time. I've had, unfortunately, have had several conversations with Sam Weaver, the mayor of Boulder, mm -hmm. because of the connection between our two cities on their recent tragedy. And he certainly reached right out to me. And so you know, we'll learn from others as to some things that we ought to do, things that maybe we shouldn't do. Uh, but we will, we will certainly be thoughtful, considerate of the family needs, uh, considerate of the, of the two victims and, and Try to bring some closure over time to this horrible situation. Right. Uh, this shooting coming just three months uh, after the Boulder shooting. Characterize what Old Town is for your city. It's really the heart of it. Also, what is next for the community? And, and what would you tell residents this morning as they wake up and, and they begin to continue to process this? Yeah, to have this horrible incident happen truly in the heart of our city, our, our you know, downtown it is an amazing area. It's an area that has become so vibrant over the years with the gold line coming, with, with all the great restaurants and merchants and, and folks being there. The decision we made to close the street on a, a hopefully permanent basis after the pandemic. And what we learned through the pandemic is that Old Town and all of Arvada is very resilient. We pull together, we come together, we'll support each other and I am confident that that will happen in Old Town with this. Uh, we'll soon be able to walk down through the streets of Old Town again, knowing we're safe, uh, with a smile on our face as we have always had uh, today and for a long time tinged with a certain sadness that, uh, and we'll take every step we can to, to honor those who fell yesterday um, and to keep their memories strong and we'll find ways to do that while still moving on with uh, this very special community. Yeah, such a community gathering space there. We know a lot of the businesses are closed uh, today out of respect and that memorial uh, continues to grow at City Hall. Mayor, uh, thank you for spending a little bit of your morning with us. We're, our thoughts are with you. We're so sorry you're having to go through this tragedy, but thank you for joining us. Thank you all, take care.